Welcome to NAR's Level Up, the real story from Realtors. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. These are unscripted, candid conversations, elevating issues that matter to Realtors in communities across America with our thought leaders here with us today. I'm Ryan Davis, and here with me is James Crisbrook, 2022 Chair of the National Association of Realtors Diversity Committee. I'm also here with Anthony Domothoti, 2022 President, Hudson Gateway Association of Realtors, and Amy McCoy. Amy is a 2023 Vice Chair of the Federal Financing and Housing Policy Committee. Today, we are talking about DEI, that is diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so I'd like to open up today's conversation. What is diversity, equity, and inclusion to you? And why is it important to our membership? So perhaps we'll start with our 2022 chair of the diversity committee. And that obviously is a very big question. You know, quite frankly, DEI, diversity is everything. It's everybody. We all bring a different perspective to the table. We all should be equal. We all should be included. And it's important to our membership because our leadership should look like our members. Over 1.5 million members Obviously, there's a huge amount of diversity there. Absolutely. Anthony, how about you? Everybody has a place at the table and everybody's voice is heard. And that is creating safe space for our members. It's not only safe space, it's brave space to be able to speak, to be able to share, and to be able to live your life and represent your thoughts and not being judged. For me, DEI is probably one of the core principles of our industry because we are promoting home ownership. We are building communities. Thank you. Amy? So I recognize what DEI was um, growing up. And so uh, having uh, a challenging background with uh, my mother, who is an immigrant, come to this country, being biracial, you know, I have been hit with many obstacles throughout the majority of my life, understanding how it impacts the way our communities are ran or governed or um, just what resources come into our community, I was able to dive into it a lot more. And making myself fully immersed in that space so that way I can set a pathway for others to come behind me. It's one thing being included as maybe the only Black person in the room, but what if, you know, I'm the only woman in the room? There's a lot of intersectionality that we have to keep in mind. Um, We don't just think of race. We have to think of gender. We think of status. We think of so many different levels. As realtors, we follow a code of ethics. It's, It's the base of what we do. And in our code of ethics, it goes beyond what the federal government does or what most communities do with regard to protections. And and I think that's critical because we do have that intersectionality. We do have a broad base of realtors that represent us and our communities. And it, you know, many years ago, the Code of Ethics included sexual orientation and gender identity as protected classes when the federal government has it and and 29 states in the country haven't. Um, So I think that speaks to the recognition that realtors have for diversity, equity, inclusion, and thinking about the, the equity piece, how do you define that? And what does that mean serving the marketplace writ large? We have, as professionals um, and true practitioners in our community, we see firsthand that America provides for uh, people who desire to be homeowners, right? But what we learn is from an equity standpoint, there are certain barriers that have prohibited people from being able to purchase in a community that they desire. And what happens is that is that you have people like myself who are entrepreneurs, where we want to live, work, play in our communities. So what if I wanted to start my business or pay off my schooling or, you know, raise my family, but, you know, the schools aren't there? Well, that is what us as practitioners are here for, to be able to take that information, what we've learned on the ground, and be able to go advocate on the Capitol Hill with our elected officials to say, hey, these are the challenges and the barriers that our, your constituents are having. Equity cannot grow when there is no sense of belonging. <laughs> and I think it's critical that we do that because many sit around the table and they say their piece. However, it's not heard at times. Acceptance and belonging intersect and equity grows. You know, it's interesting when you bring up belonging, we will launch um, for years to come a diversity, equity, inclusion strategic plan. And, and initially we looked at DE and I, 
Now we've actually put the verbiage into it, D-E-I and B, or for belonging. Because if you don't feel like you belong, the rest of it is meaningless. With the National Association of Realtors, RPAC plays a huge role in the work that we do. Um, and I know for sure some of you contribute to RPAC. Well, what does RPAC uh, mean to you and how does that interface with the work that we do in diversity, equity, and inclusion? Um, absolutely. I think RPAC is our biggest weapon, you know, if anything at all, in making sure that if we have policy that is focused on equity and policy that is people-centric and it's not dollar-centric. Um, I think uh, as a President Circle member um, for the past two or three years now, um, RPAC probably is going to set the tone for what's happening on the Hill. And we have a responsibility not only in the business, we also need to work for the business and by the business and on the business. So uh, our investment in RPAC truly will make an impact on our communities. And it's important as realtors for us to take that challenge on because your voice counts and your vote counts. And, and the word investment is critical. Um, it's investing in our business. I've been a major investor for mm -hmm. years and years and years. And what I like about RPAC is it, it takes the message that NAR has to our legislators, throughout legislation, things like supporting the Equality Act, um, you know, bringing that important message about even FHA, which, you know, if we can make that function better, we start to create generational wealth. Uh, you know, our PAC really is our voice, and it does make a huge difference. That type of investment, it does open doors. I have to look at it as, as a Black woman. How is it going to impact me? as someone who identifies even with the LGBTQ community, as someone who's grown up internationally, how does this impact me and my clients? And so having access to being able to be at the table has propelled me to be in the position I'm in now. That's exciting because having that opportunity to be at that table or in that room to show who you are that's where the diversity, equity, inclusion comes in, but also being a major contributor to knowing how to be able to speak with our political leaders. Um, it, it goes a long way. Uh, I'm going to tie in that with inclusion a little bit. Um, when they asked me to serve on the 2021, 22, and now 23 Participation Council for RPAC, for me, that was a point where they've recognized the fact that I needed to be at the table because my voice needed to be heard. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was the beginning of inclusion from a political standpoint, mm -hmm. from an RPAC standpoint. So this conversation is really about taking things to the next level, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so obviously you all are doing that with the conversations that you just elevated with RPAC. What about in our community? Um, how does DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, help build stronger communities? So for me, um, watching my community continuously be redlined um, and having the opportunity now to be in this type of industry, you are identifying those parts. You are seeing it head on because the homes that we own here in America in order to fund our education system, that's based on your property values. And if your property, property values are being uh, devalued by the color of your skin or, you know, uh, because you're a part of the LGBTQ community, you don't have access to it, you know? That takes away the resources the schools need, right? It also, as we see, that takes away from the traditional financial institutions that are coming in your area. That's why we have more check cashing places in certain areas. Or even you take away all the health options and grocery stores in those communities. So this is why being very involved in your industry and being involved and having a seat at the table, because this, this is why your voice actually matters, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in, in, we've had a very strong challenge in our state, um, especially when it came to uh, Fair Housing Expose 36 months ago. It blew everything out of the water, and everybody was on high alert all of a sudden. We should have been on high alert all along. All along. You know, not when things come to light, you know? And I think that's where intentional personal manifest comes in and a personal mission to further DEI in our communities because it starts with one client and one home, one street and one, one, one sale, one family and one, one transaction. 
That's how we can build inclusive, vibrant, growing communities, you know? You know, as a gay man, um, I've had a partner for 27 years. We own our own business. We have kids. And, and so that exposes us to a lot of things <clears throat> that could be detrimental. But really what it ends up doing is we, we live an example. And I think that when we talk about bringing DEI into our communities or, or recognizing it or celebrating it is live your truth. So we have opportunities to share an additional message about generational wealth and how we can create affordable housing, how we can bring more diverse people to the table and invite them to the table and give them a voice. And it's through our examples. I think at the end of the day, that example rings true. We can say all types of things, but when we live that, it's a whole different thing. So this has been a great conversation. Thanks for joining us. For more information, go to nar.realtor forward slash DEI. See you next time. Level Up, the real story from Realtors.